So the correct answer was a 404 not found error. Why is this? Well, basically we see that our, our router, which is this part here, doesn't have this request mapped to it, right? So it's not handling this request. This is why we have a 404 error, and this is not a 500 error. A 500 error would be a server-side error, and server-side errors are usually, well, not usually, they are always thrown whenever a piece of code breaks, right? So I'm the code is being evaluated, and something breaks in the code. This is not the case. Uh, what just happened here is a user sent us a request that we have not handled. And this is perfectly fine, right? Because a user can always send us any kind of request and we don't necessarily have to handle that request. But let's dive into more detail of what just happened there. Okay, so I'm going to open up both files side by side and see what happened. Okay, so Imagine I go ahead here and duplicate this line and change the forward slash to forward slash example. And I go back to my application, refresh, and I see that now my application is working correctly. And this is because I just added the path forward slash example, which is what the user is sending us to our router. And I'm mapping it to the same main handler as my root path. Okay, so this is why the application is working now. Okay, what other things can I do to, to handle requests? Well, I can go to the app.yaml and I can say example, okay? Now I can send the, sorry, I need a forward slash always. So I can send the forward slash example. So this is mapping anything beginning with forward slash example, okay? So it's example.star, which means example and then anything after it. I'm going to map it to the script main.example. And so now I have to go to the main.py file and create a example router. And so I'm just going to copy a bunch of code and change the variable name to example. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this line. I'm going to delete this line from here. And so now this should be working again, right? Because I have the example mapped to main example and main example is here and I have this route mapped to the main handler so this should still work okay great see it refreshed and it's still working it didn't break okay awesome so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the the main handler and i'm going to make a new one called example handler and instead of printing hello world i'm going to print example i'm going to change this to example handler so now what I have done is I am still mapping the path example, but I've changed the handler that's going to handle this request. I've changed it to example handler, and now my example handler should print out example to our screens. We're going to refresh, and sure enough, it does. Okay, great. So let's see what happens if I hit the request example underscore two. Well, again, it doesn't work because this is not mapped in our main.example router. So I'm going to go ahead and add it, and again, refresh, and it should be working now. Sure enough, it is working. Okay, let's see what we can do next. Let's delete this generic handler. So now our application is only handling requests that begin with example. So this, this is probably a terrible idea, but let's see what happens. This should still be working. It is example the first one also is working but what happens if we go back to our home now we see the application is breaking the url forward slash does not match any handlers and this is because it's not matching any handler in our app.yaml okay so let's see how this works on a theoretical level okay the path forward slash example if we send it and this is our imagine this is our app.yaml and this is main.py so imagine we send forward slash example so goes to our app.yaml, it sees it there is a handler which matches the request because we have example.star, which means anything beginning with example. And by the way, sorry, there should be a forward slash here. Uh, so example is being matched and it sends it to the script main.example. And we are lucky enough that we have this request mapped in our router, in our example router. So it goes ahead and, and, and the request is handled by some handler. Okay, great. Second case, example underscore three. 
Again, app.yaml sees it matches the, this handler because it begins with example, so it sends it to the main.example. However, main.example doesn't have this request mapped in the router, so it returns a 404 because this request, example underscore three, is not found in the router. Okay. Third case, forward slash sum underscore example, it's no, it can no longer be handled by the, the first line because it doesn't start with the example, it starts with sum underscore, okay? So this is why it falls back to the second case where we catch anything else and the app.yaml says, okay, the script that needs to process this request is main.app and main.app router has, again, the route path the path routed in it forward slash some example so it is again handled by some handler and the last case is where we delete the generic case and we still send the same request and since it's no longer matching this url because it begins with some underscore app.yaml returns a 404 okay so hopefully you're seeing how routing requests works in App Engine. This is going to be a fundamental concept we need to learn, and we are going to be working with it all the time throughout the development of our App Engine application. I hope this is not too confusing. If you still feel like you haven't fully grasped this concept, please go ahead and play with the, with the application just like I did. I opened up a new router right here I opened up a new handler in the app.yaml, play around, see how you can get, you know, requests being handled and requests not being handled by the application. And I'm sure you'll learn this concept. In any case, don't worry, because we will be working so much with these handlers that I'm sure you will learn throughout the course how routing works in App Engine.